Okay, people, we're doing one of our most popular dry flies. This is one of the, we did this a long, long time ago, but this is uh, a new version of the stone flopper. So it's a fly that was designed to be either fished as a stone fly or a grasshopper. Um, and it's, it's just a really super cool looking fly. So um, the one thing, the first thing I've changed is I'm using a 3X long hook. This is the TMCO 5263 instead of just the like the the 5262 and it uses so much foam it is good to use a heavier wire hook so it'll turn it over um, so we'll just get tearing into it the other main difference is I'm using this new Montana fly photo foam so it's like they took a turkey and a foam plant and had a mate and then they had these little foam turkeys and they were, these are were like the turkey tails coming out of them and they pluck each individual turkey foam tail and that's how they harvest this photo foam so uh, respect the process people alright so it's a pretty easy fly uh, and I even took off the elk hair on this one to make it a little bit even easier so you can use either regular round rubber or this uh, these barred centipede legs, but this is I just think I think it's called natural and brown or something. I don't know. We'll put it in the recipe. But uh, I'm going to tie on a little fork tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in um, this rubber leg on the far side of the hook shank. Just like that and now I'm going to take this little tag end and pull it over onto the other side just like that and now I'll just trim those so now we have a little fork tail um, the body on this one is going to be quite a bit slimmer than the original because I want the photo foam uh, to show through. So when I put the photo foam on there, I want that to be visible instead of a ton of dubbing. And I'm actually going to use Bruiser Blend for the body. And if you haven't dubbed Bruiser Blend, it dubs down really nice. Usually I only use it for streamer heads, but it's it's actually a really, really good kind of buggy dubbing. dubs down tighter than I thought for this one okay so I'm gonna leave about that much of the hook bare um, okay so what once I have the body tied down I'm gonna take this uh, photo foam and you can see I just cut a strip about roughly the the width of the hook gap and I cut it to a point you can use the river road cutters on this if you want they're they're pretty cool um, and I'll just tie this down right in front of the body and then trim off the excess and once I do that I really want to grab that butt end of the the foam and and tie that down so at this point I'm going to take a little bit of super glue and I'm going to glue that body down that's too much. Just don't spill it. Yeah, I brought my own super glue so that I would be more responsible with the super glue this time. So one of the last times I spilled it all over Curtis's desk and left it like a savage. Okay, so I'm going to push that down. And that will make a kind of a slim profile or a, a low profile body okay so now we're basically going to create a bullet head out of foam so I have another similarly cut piece of foam and I'm gonna cut you know a chunk about like this this big and I'm gonna tie a piece on top and a piece on the bottom 
So to do that, I'm going to advance my thread all the way to the edge of the eye. And I'm going to put this piece of foam right butting up to this other piece that I've tied down. I'm going to pinch it in place and give it several wraps and then wrap back on top of itself. Just like that. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. And the bottom is a little bit trickier. And, and again, you want to make sure that the foam or the, the photo side is touching each other because we're going to fold those back like that. <laughs> what did I just say? Photo side touching each other. Oh man, I'm not the brightest bulb. So you want to really cinch that down tight so that it doesn't roll when you're fishing it. So basically when you pull that over it's going to make a bullet head out of the foam. Okay so before I do that uh, the old pattern called for deer hair that I would tie in over the wing but I've switched that out to EP trigger point fibers. Um, they're just a little bit easier. You can tie them quicker. Um, and this is the March Brown color. I think it's dark March Brown. If there's a light and a dark, it's the dark one. If not, it's just March Brown. So I'm going to tie that in and double it over itself so the wing can't pull out. And I'm going to pull that and trim it just a little bit longer than the body. And this stuff floats really, really well. <clears throat> okay, from here, I'm going to coat all these thread wraps with super glue with Z Mint. Just a thin layer. And now I'm going to take the bullet head pieces and squish those down over the body and make a bullet head. So once I have it like this, you can see there's a little bit of a gap there. I'm just going to squeeze and that gap will go away. So there's enough, uh, because it's foam, there's still enough hook eye to, to thread the hook with. So it does look like, like I crowd the eye, but it's not. Okay, so from here I'm going to trim the bottom. And I'm going to trim the top a little bit longer than I did the bottom. So our head is completely done. And for the legs, I'm going to just tie one on one side, or tie, tie it in on, on one side and then loop it around to the front tie it in there and now because this fly sits relatively low I will tie in uh, a little indicator <clears throat> okay so I've just got a piece of two millimeter craft foam I mean fly tying foam and I'll tie it in just like that I like to tie them in so that there's like a little post on top super bright now for this one I just do a, a quick hand whip finish just like two turns because I'm going to glue it to death and then to finalize it you just trim it now those legs are a little longer than I like in the front I like the length of the back legs so I'm just going to push those two forward and trim them both at the same time and that shortens them. Anyway, that is the Stone Flopper version 2.0. You can do it in a bunch of different colors. Oh yeah, don't forget, you got to put glue on this one or else it'll unravel because you didn't do a very good whip finish. And yes, hand whip finishes are inferior to tool whip finishes. So I'm going to 
dab a little bit of cement right where the legs were tied in and along the bottom and we're good anyway don't forget to subscribe to our channel like the videos comment and smash the bell